Hey, what's a great time to be in technology, right? Hey, we get to constantly evolve. We, uh, what the evolution today looks like, um, what, DevOps, microservices, containers, cloud. Yeah, yeah. hey, uh, we get to, uh, you, you know, just uh, <clears throat> help uh, our customers walk through this evolution. And I'll posit to you that SolarWinds is best positioned to help our customers do just that to support the technology professional. Um, this isn't necessarily the first evolution that we've gone through, it's more of a continuum. Um, the IT professional has long been uh, you know, considered SolarWinds a trusted advisor. Uh, most of you probably know about SolarWinds through our core IT portfolio. Um, it is the portfolio that contains the beloved uh, network performance monitor, server and application monitor, virtualization manager, database performance analyzer, and over 30 other products and tools. Um, these have been you know, made for the most part with the IT professional in mind. Um, what you're probably aware of, but what you may not be quite as familiar with is um, two other portfolios that we've added in recent years. One of those is for, this really expands our scope you know, to uh, address more of the technology professional's needs at large. Um, one of those is our SolarWinds MSP. It is uh, a set of SaaS-based offerings. <coughs> the combination of capabilities um, from LogicNow and Enable. This is a full portfolio of ITSM software, IT service management software. Today it's serving um, over 20,000 MSPs and in turn serving many times that of their customers. Um, among other things, it manages over 5 million endpoints. The other portfolio that you're Again, probably aware of, haven't maybe, um, you know, hopefully you've been able to spend a lot of time here as well. It is our monitoring cloud portfolio. It's a full stack of, um, of again, software as a service being offered up. Uh, this is comprised of things like Librato, Paper Trail, Kingdom, and most recently TraceView. Uh, so, like I said, SolarWinds is uniquely positioned to help our customers through this evolution. And it's with this portfolio that we intend to do so. Our customers, make no mistake, are going through a digital transformation. Um, they're going through this evolution. Uh, businesses are, uh, you know, in many cases, some of them are looking to become um, software companies. They are um, looking to, um, you know, innovate with software. They're looking to leverage the IT infrastructure to uh, provide differentiation um, in, their, in their business offering and their business value. Um, this transformation includes people, process, and technology. Um, and you know, for most of you, I'm sure that you've been through digital transformations in the past. Um, I have, uh, it was about a, about a decade ago, I was in the video surveillance industry, um, was, uh, got to see a digital transformation happen firsthand. This was a time where the CCTV systems, the coaxial cable that they ran on, moved from analog video over to IP-based uh, ethernet. The video that was previously recorded to tape, that analog video was digitized, encoded, stored on disk, um, in large storage systems. Um, so there's a technology transformation happening. There's also a piece of people and process um, transformation happening there. So at the end of the day, we still had uh, physical security guards, uh, guys and gals with guns and badges, um, but IT led the way through this transition. Um, ultimately, they became responsible for running these back-end systems, not necessarily delivering that, that end service, still the, the, the physical security folks were there. Uh, and so it's this notion that I said about um, these companies trying to transform into software companies. Um, if you haven't heard, um, software is eating the world. And I'm not the first one to say that. I'm not, uh, you know, Mark Andreessen has really said that, um, and many after him. If you don't believe it and you need an example of that, just look around our campus. This campus used to be wholly owned by a prominent um, hardware manufacturer, a leading chip designer, and anymore it's a shared campus. They share that with a global software company, SolarWinds. Um, so the, like I said, there's um, you know, about three different aspects to this transformation, technology, people, process. Let me describe the technology aspect of this really quick. Uh, that some of you, you know, may have seen this depiction before that um, 
you know, in my long collaboration with colleagues at, at Red Hat, um, there have been various versions of this that have come out. Really, it's these four parallel streams that are happening, and it's about um, the fact that not only is software eating the world, but software itself is being, you know, the way in which it's being developed and delivered is dramatically changing. Um, and one of those ways is with respect to our, um, you know, our development process. So conventionally, we sort of, we've kind of moved from, you know, generally transitioning downward from waterfall to agile to DevOps. Um, another uh, stream here is this one around um, application architecture. So I've been, I've been warned that my, my penmanship is not what it used to be. So what you get today is a nice waterfall. You get some, some agile happening here. This nice little iterative process and you get um, DevOps because the infinity symbol means DevOps, right? That's what, okay. The other one is around application architecture. Um, you know, this has been historically kind of, you know, uh, client server in nature, big monolith over here. Um, <coughs> that's transitioned into kind of in-tier um, scaled up application deployments. Again, kind of client server. And anymore, it starts to look like uh, microservices. Again, just, you know, we're at various stages of these transitions. Another phase of this transition is um, our deployment and packaging processes for applications. Uh, many times that had been, those have been deployed on a physical server. Um, all of us are familiar with deployments on, on VMs. And now we're seeing containers. We're seeing these in production. Um, again, a general trend. And the last aspect of this is um, our uh, application infrastructure. So this is generally kind of gone from uh, data center to uh, hosted co-location environments out to, yes, cloud. Trust me. Cloud. I know cloud, that's a cloud. Uh, <laughs> yes, despite what you may, you may say. Uh, Great, so, so this isn't just about technology transitioning though, it's about uh, people in process. Um, the you know, businesses, like I said, are changing the way in which they operate. They're looking to leverage their information technology much more strategically. The IT department needs to, and the IT organization, the CIO, in my mind, need to step up and be the digital leader as they have in the past. They've got a real opportunity to be, um, play a strategic role, a collaborative role with their lines of business. Some of that IT budget is occasionally going to those lines of business. Lines of business are looking to the CIO and the IT organization for assistance on digital trends and how to best leverage this infrastructure. A recent um, Harvard Business Review study showed that of the about 600 respondents that they had, um, nearly half uh, of the business leaders were looking for and wanted an education on digital trends from their CIO, from their IT organization. Unfortunately, um, 40% of those business leaders said that their, their CIO and their IT organizations aren't stepping up and aren't, aren't educating. So there's a real you know, opportunity here. Our own um, report that SolarWinds produces annually, the um, State of IT report, this last one was the hybrid IT evolution. We asked uh, our, our respondents whether or not they, they felt like they were adequately prepared for the hybrid IT evolution. Um, only 27% answered with certainty that they are. I'm certain that the other 73% haven't seen what some folks are going to show you today around um, our hybrid capabilities. Um, and so the roles of those CIOs are changing. It's, you know, SolarWinds really you know, sees three different trends happening and has positioned our portfolio to assist in these trends. I would say the first one is, you know, this massive movement from on-premises to, you thought I was going to say cloud, didn't you? Okay. Uh, to um, hybrid, right? It is to cloud. But it's not just a public cloud. Um, you know, if you take a look at Cisco's um, global cloud index, the last one that they produced, they said by 2020, 92% of the world's workloads uh, will be on cloud. Uh, the interesting thing is 68% is public uh, and 32% being private. Now that's just, you know, that's their projection, but the point being it's a hybrid world, right? And our own um, research shows that as well. Uh, and so you're gonna hear today from Chris O'Brien on, on NPM, from Steve Hunt on SAM, uh, from Chris Papp on vMan about um, things that Kong mentioned around NetPath, um, AppStack, PerfStack. It's uh, this product line, our core IT product line, that's positioned to help in that hybrid world. The second trend that we see happening is selective sourcing. So businesses are offloading um, 
uh, IT capabilities and using service providers to deliver those capabilities. This is where our SolarWinds MSP offering steps in. That offering is, you know, has things like managed email, backup, um, some security offerings, risk intelligence, patch management, remote monitoring, remote management. Um, it's a full suite of ITSM software. Um, you know, we've got a large set of engineers um, focused on bringing those, those capabilities to market. Lastly, we see this, this third um, trend around uh, consumer-facing applications, and it's the notion that as new digital businesses emerge, they're most often using um, best-of-breed um, solutions. Um, and you know, this is where our um, SolarWinds monitoring cloud steps in. Um, uh, I don't know if you've, you've read this, but um, Gartner put out a recent uh, report. By 2018, they said that the dominant model of um, these new businesses looking for new software application functionality will be through SaaS. And so we're well positioned here with our, you know, you're going to hear from Chris Irway um, in a bit about our time series metrics, our logging, our website uptime, synthetic monitoring, our real user monitoring, and lastly, uh, um, our distributed tracing. So I'll say it again, the current market dynamics are fundamentally changing the way in which um, businesses are engaging their IT organizations. You know, I'll say that you know, IT must evolve. We've done it in the past. Um, it's through people, process, and technology. SolarWinds is the best position to help technology professionals through this transition. So it's a great time to be in technology, and it's a fantastic time to be a SolarWinds customer.